Alright, what up guys, it's your boy PS360 HD2 and I am here to tell you everything you need to know about the hero nobody knows. <laughs> you like that? I know you, I know you like that. Come on, give me some props. Alright, but look, seriously. Um Bandai Namco has just announced a brand new One Punch Man console game. A lot of people have been waiting for this. I have been waiting for this. I haven't even seen the the entire series fully yet and I've been waiting for this. If you're an anime fan, you probably know who Saitama is and his legendary One Punch Man mantra. But yeah, it, it's, I have to admit, once I was shocked, it's, the announcement came out of nowhere. It surprised pretty much everyone. And I was super hyped until I saw who the developer was. Yes, it's Spike turns off. The same guys that gave us One Piece Burning Blood, Jump Force, and the old Budokai Tenkaichi series. Now, oh, they also made J-Stars, but obviously because they made Jump Force. Now, it's needless to say that Spike hasn't really been on that great of a run lately. I mean, from the moment I saw the trailer, the first thing I thought was this was a a reskin of One Piece Burning Blood. Now, I know One Piece Burning Blood had its had like a cult following. Some people liked it, a lot of people didn't. I personally enjoyed it. The only thing that killed that game for me, it, it basically it basically became a sidestep simulator. Like you had to constantly sidestep. And that's just not a fun fighting game, man. Maybe for Dragon Ball Legends uh, on a mobile phone, I get it. But for a full console game, that can't be your main mechanic in a fighting game. So, um, yeah, I'm just, I, I want to be absolutely honest with you guys, man. I am looking forward to the game just because it's a One Punch Man game. But these anime games lately, man, they have been absolutely disappointing. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Jump Force had potential, and it's almost as if they just didn't give a fuck and was like, they don't listen to the fans' feedback. They like, they don't make any proper updates. And I'm starting to wonder if maybe they they haven't been doing that because they've been working on this game. How many games is Spike turns off making for Bad Night Nanko? It seems like they have their hand in all the latest anime titles for Bad Night Nanko. But yeah, let me give you guys some actual information about the game instead of just ranting. I apologize. But yeah, all right, so. One Punch Man, a hero nobody knows, is an action fighting game set in a universe where threats are daily occurrences, and heroes are the sole hope against annihilation. Saitama, the main protagonist, is a hero that can obliterate even the strongest foes with a single punch, a situation that bothers him to no end. The game will feature three versus three battles where players can form powerful teams using many familiar faces. The first confirmed playable characters being Genos, Fubuki, M Moomin Rider, Sonic, and Saitama. So, um, there's no release date for the game yet, but it will be released on PS4, Xbox, and PC. If I had to take a guess, I would assume that this game probably isn't releasing this year because they kind of announced it late. So it would be kind of incredible if they announced it and then just released it three months later. So um, if I had to take a guess, I would say February 2020 or March 2020. That's just me guessing, y'all. But um, let me know what you guys think. Are you guys hyped for another Spike Chernsaw video game? Um, I know you guys are ha have to be hyped for the first One Punch Man console game. I am just praying that the game isn't an absolute disaster. And it's somewhat enjoyable. But yeah, man. It's your boy PS360 HD2. Go on ahead and follow me on Twitter at PS360 HD2. If you guys just want to say what up, talk to me, hang out. You know, join the community, man. But I'll catch you guys later, man. Peace.